and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over the brand new Mutt 10 player, guys. So, obviously, for the day so far, we've gotten the October promo, which is the most year promo, boys. There is so much to do, which makes this Mutt 10, like, it's chaotic as a content creator today. I have to make, I have so many videos. I have, like, 20 video idea for you guys. I have to go over, I went over the content already. I have some really fire videos coming for you guys tomorrow. I got a pack opening for you guys later today for the Mutt 10 player. I got so much coming for you guys, so I got to make this video quick. Got to get through this as fast as possible, boys. So much to do. But this new player, guys, pretty awesome. Haven't checked the stats I got. I'll do that for you guys on camera, obviously, like I always do. It is a lineman. The lineman did drop today, which was pretty expected. I've been talking about this with a few people. It's kind of assumed it'd be this guy, and it is. One of the greatest to ever do it, boys. Going down in the Hall of Fame, for sure, at this position. Probably end up picking his power up. He's going to be one of the best linemen in the game. So I got to really check out all the stats first to make all, make sure about everything, guys. But before we get into this video, boys, don't forget. Go smash that subscribe button, boys. We're over 10K. That is crazy. We're at about 10.2K subscribers. You guys have been killing it, boys. The next grind is 11K and then 20K and so on and so forth. Thank you guys for letting this happen, for making this a reality. Thank you for all the lowest supporters that I have. But if you guys are new, hit that subscribe button, boys. Comment down below what you think of this new Mutt 10 card. And don't forget, we're doing day-long giveaways for the next two or three days starting yesterday. All you gotta do is like the video. If any video gets above 500 likes on any video for the next three days, I will pick random commenters per day. So all you gotta do is like the video and comment down below. 50k, I'll be giving away 50k to a random commenter. I think we did hit it for yesterday, and if we don't hit it anyways, I'll still give it away come tomorrow or the day after, boys. So just smash that like button, hit that comment down below, boys. And if you could so kindly hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, boys. Now let's head on over to the Twitter screen to go check out this guy's stats. It is Joe Thomas, by the way, 93 overall left tackle for the Cleveland Browns. If anyone's been watching football for at least a few years, they already know about Joe Thomas. One of the greatest to ever do it. One of like the Iron Men of our generation. Now let's go ahead over to Joe Thomas over on Twitter and check out his stats. All right, boys, so we're over on Twitter. We got Joe Thomas, 93 overall left tackle. Pretty cool card art. Uh, I believe that says Madden 15, so he's from Madden 15. It looks like a positional hero. If I Someone comment down below what card art they took that from. It looks like a positional hero left tackle, but I could be wrong. Let me know. He's got a shield looking archetype. Don't know what that means. 29 salary cap. Compared to what I've seen, that looks pretty low, but maybe for a lineman, that's high. All you salary cap guys know that, so comment down below what you guys see on that. Yeah, it is Madden 15. It's a little blurry because I have to zoom in a little bit, but Madden 15, wow, so that's like five years ago. Crazy boys, how long Mutt's come, how far Mutt's come, although it's progressively probably gotten a little worse, and 100 make rights later, 100 issues later, we're still grinding, boys. We're Joe Thomas right here, so let's see. Let's see his stats. So he's six foot six, really tall, but again, it's a lineman. I don't know how much height really affects lineman. 88 strength, pretty good strength, 90 awareness, which is good. I feel like, I don't know how much awareness affects it, but I heard for lineman it's important. He's got 93 pass block power, 90 pass block, I mean 93 pass block, 90 pass block power, 93 pass block finesse. So all above 90 pass block, which is really good. So powered up, he's going to have close to all the pass blocking thresholds, which is what you want for left tackle. And on the other end, he also has 90 run block, 88 run block power, and 91 run block, run block finesse. So this card is going to be the probably the best run blocking, pass blocking, dual threat lineman in the game, which is awesome because typically if you guys know anything about how Madden is, left tackles and right tackles usually either get, they either get pass block or they either get run block. The few that get both, they kind of get screwed. They end up with really low 80 pass blocking and run blocking, such as, um, what's his face? What's his name? Lane Johnson. It gets the job done, but guys, but now I'm going to have threshold passing and run blocking. I don't think I'll pick up the full card. I will be going on a pack opening later for him, so we make a pull him. But in, I'm going to probably just power him up to his 91 and rock out with him for a while. Uh, powered up, we'll probably end up with like an 86 strength, 88 awareness, 91 pass block. 88 pass block power, 91 pass block finesse, 88 run blocking, 85 run block power, and 89 run block finesse. So powered up, chemmed up. He will have above 90 pass blocking almost all around with probably very high 88, if not threshold run blocking. He's going to be a beast. Going to be a big upgrade over the current Joe Staley I have, guys. Now, in my opinion, is he worth buying? I'd wait for his Redux card. The overall consensus, boys, for Mutt 10 for me has been wait for their Redux cards. I don't think any of them are worth it at their 2 to 3 million coin price tag. Uh, once you wait for the series end, guys like even Vic are like 600k, 700k. It is way worth it to wait. Now, if you guys pull him out of a pack, I'd recommend selling him. Maybe try him out. It's a alignment, so I wouldn't say try him out. Nothing special. Um, I'd say probably hold on to him uh, for the, maybe the day. See the pricing, then sell him right away. And by hold on to him, I don't mean use him. I mean you could try him out. But I think the overall consensus is you should always sell the Mutt 10 player as soon as you pull him, guys. Don't really wait too long. You only lose value by waiting on him. 
And by hold, what I said I meant when I meant by that was I'd hold his power-up card. I'll definitely be picking up his power-up card. He's going to be right there with Anthony Munoz. And with linemen, once they get threshold for me, I'd like to just hold them like the Castro. Even if they release better linemen, as long as they have above 90 passing and run blocking, I feel like you can rock with them for a while. Linemen all kind of play the same after 90, in my opinion, at least low 90s. I'll make the upgrades later, but I want to get that line solidified so I can keep running the ball. Keep getting. I have realized a lot of deficiencies on the left side of the line for me, so that's going to be pretty huge. Now, like I said, would I open packs for him? Probably not, but I do have a lot of packs sitting in my binder, or should I say my pack binder, whatever you want to call that. So I will be opening up. I've been saving them just for this pack opening for you guys. Now, let's head on over back to the Madden screen and go over a few little tips and tricks I got going for the Mutt 10 for you guys real quick. And so let's head back over to that screen. All right, guys, so we're back on the Madden screen. Now, real quick, if you guys didn't intend to pull this card, right, you guys want to open packs for this card, I don't really know what would be a rep like a requisite pack you want to open. I don't think the most feared bundle will do it. Most fear bundles only guarantee one elite, which is the topper. And I believe most of the packs are gonna give you most fear type cards or like cauldron stuff. So I wouldn't recommend the most fear bundle. I guess you still have to go with probably, let's see, are the packs, where, where are the regular packs? You probably still wanna open like all pros and gridirons and clutch bundles for these kind of cards. I don't really know, I'm not much of a pack guy. Um, as my YouTube channel gets bigger later in the year or next year, I will be opening up more packs for you guys on a consistent basis for all you guys who like seeing packs. The only issue for me is that like, you know, I don't want to spend all the money while going to college and stuff. I don't want to waste all my money on packs. I don't think it's really worth it. But like I said, I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of all the packs I have for you guys for later. I got all my weekly, I have my my weekend league rewards. I got some all pro packs. Probably open up a few get of golds. See, test our luck out, guys. And don't forget to be playing your Mutt 10 solo challenges, boys. Don't be that guy like me. Boys, I messed up with the Mutt 10. So... We are at, I think this is either the 7th or 8th drop. Let's go check it out, guys. Let's go check the sets real quick to see what we have even left for Mutt 10. I don't think we have much left. We maybe have like two weeks, maybe one week left. I think either two or three. I don't think it's one yet, but we'll see right now. Madden Ultimate Team 10. Let's check it out. So we got the safety ready. We got the wide receiver. We got our lineman. We got our quarterback. We got our cornerback. We got our tight end. All we have left is a defensive lineman. I know we got, oh wait, no, we got, uh, we got that guy on the Panthers. I forget his name. So we got safety. We just got the line. We got our wide receiver. We got a quarterback. We got a cornerback. I think all we have left is wild card. Okay, so we might actually be a week away. I think we're a week away from the final one. So you guys will be getting your Mutt 10 Fantasy Pack. I'm really upset that I didn't get it done. Uh, if they give us a, a make ride, I'll be really upset that I didn't continue on with it. I really thought we wouldn't get one because they said we would not. So I recommend you guys go get that done. The last thing you want to do is miss out. Now, as far as the wild card, I really don't know what it could be. I don't know if it'd be an out of position guy. I'm hoping maybe like a Barry Sanders would be awesome. Although I don't want him limited time. Maybe Sean Taylor. I don't know how they'll go about this, guys. Make sure you're going to play your challenges. It is approximately 3.24 p.m. right now, so in about 36 minutes, it'll be releasing into the game. So what you're going to want to do is, once it releases at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, head on over here, go to your Madden Ultimate Team 10 Challenge, and you guys do get a power version of these cards initially off the bat. Like I always say, get the challenge done as quickly as possible, chew clock it out of there, and sell the card. You could usually sell this card for a close to, I mean, it is a lineman, so I don't know how high and expensive he'll be. But typically, right when it releases, you could sell these power-ups for like 20 to 40k, somewhere between there. So if you're one of the first guys to sell it, wait like 20 minutes. They'll be going for like 7k, and you can buy it right back. So for me, I usually just wait for like 20 minutes, buy them for 7k, I'll power them up all the way. We did get a free, I, get a, I got a ton of free training from uh, the Make Rights. I got like 12,000 or like 14,000, somewhere between there. So I have a ton of training right now, a lot more than I had before. So I'm going to definitely use it on Joe Thomas, boys. Now, would I recommend everyone picking them up? Yeah, unless you want to buy Munoz. But with the Make Right training, we have so much free training. A lot of us should at least. I recommend you go pick up Joe Thomas. And don't forget to play your solos, guys. I'm that guy. You guys saw that live on video where I did missed out on my free Matt fantasy pack. I I bought Vic. Like, a, like a, I was so dumb. I bought Vic off the auction block because I want to try him out really fast. And I saw the Vic power up in my binder, so I assumed I did the solo challenge. Just to realize next week I'm making this video for you guys. I never actually did it. I was very, very upset about that, boys. Don't be that guy. There's one week left. Don't mess up. Do not mess up. Play it right away. Get your coins. Make sure you get your coins, build it up, because guys, most feared is probably going to be one of the best promos so far this year to make coins. So many easy ways. I'll be going over all that this week for you guys with tons of content and videos coming to you guys. So make your quick coins on Mutt 10, enjoy your Mutt 10 day, and then tomorrow we got Legend Saturday, and we got even more coin things that you guys can make, so I'll be updating you guys on all that weekly, guys. But that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the support as of late, guys. I couldn't thank you guys enough for letting this be a reality as a content creator, and boys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for your daily Madden content and everything that revolves around Madden. I put everything on this channel. Comment down below what you think of Joe Thomas. I personally think it's a dub. I think it's an awesome card. Um, obviously, it's not exciting because it's a lineman, but I'm excited. I needed a good lineman. Really bolster that left side of the line. I can get rid of bum-ass Joe Staley now. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to hit that like button, boys. 500 likes on any video today, tomorrow, or the next day. I will be giving away 50K. I think we hit it once already.
And like I said, if we don't hit it at all, I'll just give you guys coins away anyways because you guys have been killing it with the support. And don't forget, comment down below 50k because I will be pulling from the commenter. So if you forget to comment afterwards, I will not get you because I have to actually see the comment because I can't check the other stuff. But guys, that's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Turn on that notification bell. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you guys later. I'm out.